Good morning and welcome to class. And I apologize that I am not going to be able to be with you today. However, Ms. Lewis will be able to help you with any problems that you have. I'd like for you to remember that when I am not in school, any work that you do is counted as a product grade and not a process grade, so it counts a lot more. So it's very, very important that you take your time and do your best. Today, our objective is to review the multiplication tables and review multiplication. Now, for some of you, this might be very, very easy, and for others of you, it may be very, very difficult. But I want you to do your best. The class will consist of three or four different parts. You'll have your warm-up, and then I'm going to go over a multiplication problem for you. You'll see a little video on the multiplication tables, which I hope you enjoy. It's kind of funny. And then you'll make your own multiplication table, and then you will um, do your classwork and your exit study. Any questions so far? Okay, Ms. Lewis will take a moment and do your check-in with you, and then I will do the multiplication problem. Okay, so now I am going to model a problem for you. Um, so we're going to start by using the digit that's in our, in the bottom number, in the one spot, and we're going to multiply 7 times 2. And we're going to get 14, and we're going to carry a 1. Then I multiply 7 times 9, and I get 63, and I add my 1, gives me 64. Then I carry my 6, and I multiply 7 times 3, and I get 21, and I add my 6, and that gives me 27. Everyone okay so far? Then I go to my digit that's in my tens column in my bottom number, and I multiply 3 times 2, and I get 6. Remember to indent, because now we're in the tens column. We're no longer in the ones place. So I have to move my digit over one number to the left. Then I multiply 3 times 9, and I get 27, and I carry my 2. Then I multiply 3 times 3, and I get 9, and I add my 2, and I get 11. So now all I have to do is add my numerals and it will give me my answer. So I bring down my 4. 4 and 6 is 10, so I put down my 0 and carry my 1. 7 and 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Carry my 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And bring down my 1 because there's nothing else to add to it. And my answer is 14,504. Are there any questions so far? Okay, now I'm going to give you a problem to work on, and if you need help, Ms. Lewis will help you. And when you're done, we will continue from there. So your problem is 296 times 48. And I'll give you a few minutes to do that. Okay. Now the next thing I want you to do is we're going to listen to this little ditty about um, multiplication tables. And it's going to go through the multiplication table from 0 to 12. And then after you're done with that, I am going to have Ms. Lewis hand you or give you access to a chart where you're going to be able to make your own multiplication table so you can use it in the future. Now I know some of you don't need it, but if you do need it, it will be very, very helpful especially as we get into how to burn some more complicated things. So let's listen to the video, and then after the video, I will have Ms. Lewis also give you access to your classwork. And remember again, that when you turn in your classwork today, your warm-up, your classwork, and your exit slip will count as a product grade all put together. Hope you have a good afternoon, and thank you.